Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So, if you clicked on this video, you're in for a great treat. I have all of my beauty empties, makeup, beauty, skincare, um, body care, pretty much everything for the past month. I do have, okay, this is for May, and then I also have a bag of stuff from April. There we go. So if you're interested in seeing all of my trash, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna leave the basket back here and just pull things from it as we go. Okay, so first I have some stuff from Bath and Body Works. I have the uh, Peach Bellini Creamy Luxe Hand Soap. This is from a few years back. Let's see, it is from, no, 2019, just from last year. Probably from last year's summer semi-annual sale. Um, I really love the Peach Bellini scent. It's so juicy. It smells like fruit gummies. That's really what it smells like. And there is a little bit leftover, but with these um, like creamy hand soaps, there's always some leftover, so I'm fine with that. Next thing I have is the Champagne Toast Body Lotion. I'm so happy to have finished this. I, okay, don't get me wrong. I love Champagne Toast. This is Pink Champagne Black Current Chambord. Sparkling Nectar and Sugared Musk. This is a great scent. I love this but I have so many body lotions that I really need to get through them. Um, so very happy to have finished this and I probably will repurchase this scent again. It's really, really good. The next thing is a body cream, uh, Ultra Shea Body Cream in Papaya Paradise Cove. This was Starfruit Water, Honeysuckle, Passion, Flower, and Amber. Um, I love their Ultra Shea Body Creams. I really only use these a few times a week maybe after I shave or when I feel like I need a lot more moisture. Um, but this smell, it's so good. It's very tropical. Like I, so, so good, so good. That's all that needs to be said about that. And then I have this pocket back hand sanitizer in vanilla cupcake. I love this scent. It smells so good. It doesn't really have too much of the alcoholy scent. Um, that all the pocket bags have, but this scent is so good. Next, let's pull out some sheet masks. So I have the, what brand is this? Oh, Image Skincare Eye Mask Hydrating Hydrogel Sheet Mask. I got this in a FabFitFun with a set of, I think four or five. This was so amazing on my skin. I did it a few days ago and I can still like feel the glow that it gave me. It was amazing, that's what I have to say. And then I have the Cos RX Acne Pimple Master Patches. It basically was pimple patches and they came on a sheet of plastic and then you tore one off and then put it on your pimple or whatever. I really loved this for after I had popped a pimple so that more pus kind of wouldn't re-emerge re and make it a new pimple. So then it would kind of be gone after day one of popping it and then it would just heal over as it scabbed. Um, I know that sounds kind of gross, but I do like popping my pimples. I don't like leaving like the cystic whiteheads there. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Um, so I did feel like this helped it heal faster um, and I really, really liked it. And then the last thing I have is the Tony Moly Eye Green Tea Sheet Mask. This one was okay. I didn't really notice too much of a difference. Um, it did feel nice. Um, my skin felt soft after I used it, but I didn't really notice too much of a difference. So. Okay, let's finish off the face mask. I do have this Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm mask. I had this from a um, holiday set a few years back. I don't think this really did that much for me. A couple of these Peter Thomas Roth masks did do some really good stuff, but this one I didn't really notice any like firming, lifting, softening, nothing like that. So I don't know, this one was, wasn't my favorite. And then I have the Mary Kay Timewise Repair Volume Firm Lifting Serum. I don't really need this. Um, this is for kind of aging skin, but I did have it, so I wanted to finish it. Perks of living next to a highway. Um, but yeah, I didn't really need this because I don't have aging skin currently, um, but I did have it, so I wanted to finish it. So yeah, I liked it while I used it. It was nice, it was softening, but I probably won't use it again or get it again. This is the Bioderma Pore Refiner. So this is actually for like acne prone skin. 
So I didn't use it on my face, I actually used it on my back where I kind of have back knee. Um, it didn't really make much of a difference, but I probably wasn't the right skin type to try this, so I can't really say that my opinion is valid on that one. And then I have the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5. So while using this, I did notice that my skin was maybe a little bit um, more hydrated. That's what it's for, it's for hydration. Um, but I didn't notice it too much. So I don't know, the jury's still kind of out on this one. I don't think it did much for me, but I still want to try more from The Ordinary. So I did actually just purchase something else. So you might see that in a haul soon, but yeah, this didn't really do much for me. The next thing is the Mary Kay Naturally Nourishing Oil. This was really nice. I think this is almond oil um, and a, a blend of a few other things, but I, I liked using this at nighttime, just kind of when I noticed my skin needed extra hydration. It was pretty nice, so that was good. And then I have the Pharmacy Green Clean Me Whoop. Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I got this in a boxy charm and cleaned it straight out. So inside here it gives you, um, actually no, it didn't give me a spatula. I had to provide my own spatula, but um, I just used a spatula and I wiped it on my face and it's supposed to be like an oil cleanser um, to take off your makeup. It worked really well um, and yeah, I did like it. So I probably won't purchase this just because it is pretty expensive, um, but if I'm ever looking for another cleansing balm, this one was really good. And then the last thing for May is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat. I had this for a little too long and it got clumpy on me and I just kind of used the last of it. Um, it was good while it lasted, but I do like the Seche V one a lot better. Okay, so I just dumped all the stuff that I have for April into the bucket and it's a lot more. So we have a lot to get through. Okay, I do actually have a declutter. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Powder. It actually broke out of the packaging, um, but I noticed that this didn't really work for me just because I have dry skin and this is more for oily skin types. So I'll probably just give this away to somebody, but I will not be keeping it. Another declutter in here is the AOA, um, AOA Studio Diamond Lip Gloss in Glitz. This um, is from Shop Miss A and it was a dollar, but it is kind of old and it smells funky. So I decluttered this just because I don't want to put that on my lips, you know, and have something bad happen. So another thing that I decluttered is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I really wanted to use this, but by the time I got to it, um, it was already bad. So it smells weird and I just don't want to put that on my face in case it's expired. So I'm really sad, but I do have to let this little thing go. Then I have a hair product. This is the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. I absolutely love this. I don't know, I haven't researched yet if it actually is safe for curly girl method hair stuff, um, but I really like it, so. So sticking with the hair stuff, I have this Briogeo set. It is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Peppermint Oil um, set. It was like a little mini set. I got this because I have some a very problematic scalp. It's itchy, so I wanted to try this. Um, this is the Scalp Revival Conditioner, the Scalp Revival Micro Exfoliating Shampoo, and then the Scalp Treatment. So I did actually really, really like this. It's kind of a scrub um, shampoo. This was really cool. The conditioner was really cooling on the scalp. Um, I didn't notice much of a difference with the scalp oil, but overall it did not cure my itchy dry scalp. So I probably won't be repurchasing it again, but I did really like the feel of it. So if I didn't have those problems, I probably would buy this just because it felt so nice and left my hair feeling nice, but it didn't soothe my scalp. Okay, last hair thing. I have the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Protein Power Treatment. So this is a leave-in hair mask. This was really, really good. I do have the Manuka Honey and Yogurt um, Shampoo and Conditioner in my shower right now. I really like that line. It's it's really nice. So yeah, I do, I do like this. Let's go to some foil samples. So I have this It Cosmetics Confidence in the Gel Lotion. This was not really formulated for my skin type. This is kind of more for, it says all skin types, but I think it's meant for oily skin because it did not hydrate enough for my dry skin. So um, we'll not be getting this. And then I have the Milk and Honey Gel Cleanser. This was really nice, like 
considering buying it actually maybe once i run out of what i'm using now i'll buy it but like this was so it was like a beautiful foam lather it was really nice so i i loved i loved this let's go to some face masks so i have the yes to coconut ultra hydrating energizing coffee bubbling paper mask this is one of those bubbling masks where it uh, suds up on your face um, I did find that it kind of started to get into my eyes and my nose and my mouth, so I had to kind of like wipe the bubbles off from right there. Um, but overall, it felt really nice on my skin. It did kind of brighten my skin a little bit, so I, I did like it actually. And then another Yes To product is the Yes To Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask. This, I didn't really notice any difference in this. Um, it was like a really huge face mask too like it was it was like this big I don't know whose face is that big but okay I I don't know this one didn't really work for me another face mask type product is the self main eye gel patches um I don't really notice that I need anything for my under eyes so I just used this up to kind of get it out of my collection it was nice it was cooling um but I don't think I'll repurchase any eye gels in the future the next thing is the Nip and Fab Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. So this I got, I don't know, maybe an Ipsy bag or something. Um, it did feel really nice on my skin. I don't know that it really hydrated too much, um, but it did feel really nice. So I don't know, this is like a so-so product. And then I have the Ahava Time to Clear Purifying Mud Mask. This was really nice because it was only like a three to five minute mask. You only leave it on for that long. So I could use it on nights where I still had work in the morning. I didn't really notice too much that it did anything for, good for my skin. Um, so this one was okay. So next I have a lip scrub from Trust Fund Beauty. This is the Lip glass, Lipgasm Lip Scrub. Um, this was actually really nice. I loved the flavor of this. This was also in an Ipsy bag. Um, it felt really nice on the lips. It definitely exfoliated. Um, but when I got down to the bottom, it was just like beeswax or whatever. Um, so I couldn't use it anymore. But it did feel really good. So the next thing that I have is the Mario Badescu lip balm. I used the crap out of this. It was so good. This is the um, non-fragranced one. Um, it was so good. I really enjoyed this at nighttime. Um, yeah, it was amazing. I probably will repurchase this in some form. Another lip balm, I finished the EOS, I think this was raspberry or watermelon. No, it's raspberry, I can smell that. Um, yeah, this was really nice. I just used this every day at work and uh, kept my lips hydrated, so yeah. So next I have the Pink Warm and Cozy um, Body Spray by Mist, sorry. And I love this. I just loved it so much. I've had this for so many years. It smells so good. And I will probably repurchase this once, once, and only once I have finished off more of my body sprays. I have too many right now, so. And then I've got the Banana Boat Sport Performance Cool Zone 30 SPF Sunscreen. This is just a mist. This was left over from last summer, so I just kind of used the last of it. It wasn't really that full anyways, but um, this does feel really good. I don't know if it's reef safe though, so I'll have to look into that before buying another one. Um, but yeah. Okay, next I have four makeup empties, which is so many to me. Um, I never finish off makeup. So the first thing is the e.l.f. Wow Brow Brow Gel. And I have mine in the shade Neutral Brown. It just looks like this. It has a very tiny little um, spoolie on it. But I didn't really like this. It didn't hold enough for my brows. I have really unruly eyebrows. Um, so I need something very heavy duty and this just didn't cut it for me, but it did leave a good tint. So if you're just looking for a tint and not hold, then this was pretty good and it's cheap. So next I have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara Mini. Everything wiped off of this. I've had this far too long and it dried out, but it was really good. It did like flutter my lashes. Um, so yeah. Next I have the Mary Kay Medium Nude Lip Liner. This was so beautiful. This is like a perfect my lips but better color. I use this pretty much every day at work and I finished it up. So it was awesome. Probably will get another once I run out of my lip liners because I have quite a few right now. So and then last thing is this little bitty by beauty lipstick. It's a mini. It's so cute. Look at that. Look at her. She's beautiful. I'm so proud of her. In Chai, this is the shade Chai. 
and this was beautiful. I use this every day at work. I loved it. Um, I'm proud of myself. This is my first lipstick that I've ever finished up probably in my whole life. So yeah, very excited. Okay, I put them all in the basket together. So this is two months worth of beauty empties. Look at that. So many things used up, so many minis used up, which is really my goal for this year is to just use up products and not let them sit for too long and expire. So as you can tell, I got rid of some things that had expired and it just, it like hurts me to get rid of things that have expired. Um, so hopefully in the future, I won't let things go for that long and I'll use them. Um, but yeah, so that was everything for my empties from the last two months. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy empty videos, please subscribe all. I plan on doing them every month from now on. So um, exciting news. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.